Another place where they don't believe in leaving anything to chance is the little west country town of Bampton. At least on one day, for although on 364 days in the year there's a rustic serenity about this typically Devon atmosphere, the remaining day is disrupted by an annual event held under a charter of 1258, the famous Bampton Fair. you just like to watch or whether that wage packet's burning a hole in your pocket, there's something to interest everyone. But the highlight of the day is the sale of these deceptively mild-looking ponies from Exmoor and Dartmoor. And therein lies the reason for the elaborate precautions taken by some residents. Those ponies might be tiny, but they have tempers to match horses twice their size. ponies are rounded up a few days before the sale by farmers who have the right to run them on Exmoor and sell them. In the old days, the story goes, Exmoor farmers were just as wild as their ponies. In fact, one man was locked up every year as soon as he reached town. Times have changed, but the fair still retains its excitement for men like 65-year-old Bill Taylor, who's been ringing a handbell to start the sales for the past 30 years. About 350 ponies come under the auctioneer's hammer at prices ranging from three pounds to ten pounds. Before the war, it was possible to buy a pony for seven and six. But then everything else has gone up, so why not ponies? Still, wait until there's a purchase tax on them. The very small ponies, 11 months old, are called suckers. Certainly not applicable to local buyers. There's very little that men like him don't know about this type of sale. The ponies are sold mainly for riding, and many a child will eventually be thrilled and charmed by the gentleness of their mount. At the fair, however, they're seldom on their best behaviour, and it's not always as safe as it looks to enter the pen with them. In fact, it's not an uncommon sight for a tiny pony to flatten three or four hefty farm workers before making off. And so, year after year, generation after generation, Bampton Fair goes on, undisturbed by the engulfing tide of this atomic age and future civilizations an integral part of the undying traditions that are England. <laughs>